Hey! Looking at the new statue that's here on the brand new Paseo. Geez, someone get that guy some clothes. I don't know who he is or what he is, but uh, yeah. He was open with grand fanfare the other night. Uh, we now have, I think, one of the longest Paseos in Spain. Maybe the longest in Europe. How are you all? I hope you're well. Happy Monday. Lovely, beautiful uh, day here in Estepona. How is your online businesses? <laughs> because um, today I want to talk about different traffic types. Because a lot of people are, you know, they've given up on Google um, organic search and basically any traffic from Google because unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that Google has basically killed off most uh, websites. Unless you're Forbes or the New York Times or Quora or Reddit, and the chances of you ranking on Google are, well, pretty much zero at the moment. So yeah, a lot of people are uh, pivoting to other traffic sources, which is fine, uh, although there is a slight problem because not all traffic sources are created equally. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I've been doing a little bit of research and I kind of knew this anyway, but uh, the conversion rate that you get from uh, traffic sources does vary um, quite a bit depending on what that traffic source is. And the thing with organic search is that it has, across most industries, if not all industries and all niches, it has one of the highest conversion rates. What do I mean by conversion rate? Basically, conversion rate is when that visitor converts into something useful. Could be a sale, could be that they clicked through uh, one of your affiliate links and purchased something, uh, could be that they opted into a newsletter. They're all good conversions. And yeah, generally, um, organic search has the highest conversion rate. And there's quite a lot of data to support this. I'll put some links to my sources below. Uh, maybe I've got a screenshot of a graph that I can put up for you. There you go. And yeah, as you can see, it varies quite a bit sometimes up to half um, as less, half less, half as less, sometimes double <laughs> the organic search is sometimes double uh, in terms of conversion rate over other traffic sources. So this poses a little bit of a problem because not only is um, social media and that kind of traffic more effort to get because you've got to continuously post, haven't you, on social media, you've got to keep putting content up, you've got to keep tweeting, you've got to keep Posting YouTube videos, you've got to keep doing Instagram stories. It's constant work. Whereas organic search, you create a good article and well, at least back in the old days, <laughs> that article would send you traffic um, for months and maybe even years to come. So yeah, that poses the problem. And that also shows why Google uh, traffic and organic traffic is so valuable because it's all very well to say, I'm going to replace it with, uh, with social media traffic. I'm going to replace it with email traffic. I'm going to replace it with some other kind of traffic. But yeah, the problem there is, is that you're gonna probably need maybe double the amount of traffic from those other sources in order to get a similar level of conversion rate, especially on posts like, um, you know, very product focused posts, like the best X for Y, which, uh, you know, they're good earners, or they used to be when it came to affiliate marketing. Of course, the reason for this is, if you think about the mindset of the person that's coming from these different traffic sources, when someone does a search on Google for the best air fryer for chips, and of course, when I say chips, I'm talking about the British chips, uh, not, not American chips, um, that person is looking for an air fryer and they're, they're about to buy one probably. They've got their credit card in their hand. They're, they're ready to buy as long as they can see something that looks like it's gonna be the best air fryer for chips, they're gonna buy it. They're in that moment and in fact, Google used to call it the magic moment. <laughs> Going back to my AdWords days, it was a very unique um, type of marketing to, uh, to be able to put your website in front of someone at the point where they're about to buy. Highly valuable. Whereas of course, someone on social media, then maybe not ready to buy anything, maybe not even thinking about buying anything. They're just browsing social media and then something catches their eye, one of your bits of content and they come through and maybe they look at it and whatever. But um, they're not actually at that point to buy. So, yeah, 
just wanted to put that out there that it's all very well to switch your traffic sources and and all the rest of it but ultimately you're gonna have to do double in order to get the same let me know in the comments how are you diversifying your traffic uh, what kind of conversion rates are you seeing across different traffic sources is it working as well as it used to uh, in terms of generating commissions um, yeah let me know in the comments I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can until next time see you later friends